All right, have you ever had a um, Windows update fail to install? Uh, well, this happened to me, um, and it could happen to you, and that will prevent you from getting other updates. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this update that's having problems getting installed. Either it's got corrupted or something else has happened during the installation. So what you want to do is you want to go to start. You want to go to control panel. And now you want to go to add or remove programs right here. Now once this loads up to all your installed programs uh like right now, you want to scroll down until you see that uh, that number which is failing to install would be a KB it would be in parentheses KB and a list of numbers after that uh, this will show up uh, on your update that's failing to install it would be like failed to install and it would be in parentheses this is uh, you want to find that exact one it's on the add or remove programs now what you want to do is you want to click on that one that uh, is failing to install and you want to click remove now this will remove it windows update if you got it you should have it set to automatically get updates so windows will find that update that was corrupted as being installed or something something that happened during installation so it didn't get installed now it would come back and uh, you can reinstall it if it happens to do the fail again, uh, I would recommend removing it again and then going uh, on the Microsoft website and getting the update from the site, not from the update being sent to your computer. So the solution here is if you have a failed update, simply go to your control panel, go to add or remove programs. Uh, find that one that is not is, is failing to be installed on your computer uh, whether it, whatever operating systems you're on this works for uh, most XP's and probably any of the Vista and Windows 7 uh, operating systems and probably any operating system this will work on so and then what you will want to do is take note of the one you know that is failing to in, uh, install correctly uh, due to corruption or something and then you want to remove that one and uh, retrieve it either by from the site or getting the update on your computer uh, from automatic updates uh, from the Microsoft uh, server if you have any questions feel free to send me a message or leave a comment and I will uh, get back to you as soon as I can and thank you for watching.